Good morning everyone, welcome back to LS House, another day, and we've got a big day on today. We have started welding up the dump pipe for Lucas, getting it all tigged up. So just letting that cool down now, threw a, tea, threw a few tigs on it just before. Once I get that, I can just need to weld the wastegate on, and I'm waiting for a wideband bung for that. So we're getting there on the old turbo kit. Um, over here, we have my motor coming together. All the decks are cleaned up. Rings, all gapped, good to go. They've got a beautiful gap on them. Old pistons. New pistons and rods are going in. I've done a little something with the pistons, but we'll get into that another day. And then, on the hoist, we have... What do you know? Jake's rig. Back up there again. But today is just for a little bit of routine maintenance because we're having any. we're having a little bit of something something going on, making a little bit of noise here and there. So we installed a um, oil pressure gauge into it. Turns out we're having oil pressure issues. So we've got to pull the sump off, check the pickup, make sure the pickup's not blocked. Uh, might pop a few rod caps off while we're at it and see what they look like. Don't pop a cap in your bag. <laughs> so we'll, we'll check all that out and make sure she's all still healthy. Worst case scenario, might chuck a set of other bearings in it if we have to. <coughs> Cheaper than buying another motor. <coughs> Jake's friggin' lazy. He just doesn't want to do it. They've been gapped for boost. <laughs> You've gapped, <laughs> gapped your bearings. Yeah. You gapped the rings, not the bearings. They're floating now. Perfect. They're roller bearings. <laughs> yeah. See? Even better. I'll just chuck a few needles in there. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's keep on working. I'll give you an update soon when Jake's got his um, undercarriage all pulled apart. And I do some more reassembly on my motor. Just waiting on for that double row timing chain. That shows up today. We working late tonight, boys. Mate. <laughs> And we've got another car that we're adding to the fleet as well, but we'll show you that in another video. Why do these push ropes look brand new? Keep your beady hands off them. Where the frick did you get them from? I know a guy. Did you get them off Benny? <laughs> Freaking dog. What are you yeah, thinking, Jake? Um, not good thoughts. <laughs> so, well, the sump is off. Um, there seems to be a little bit of stuff in the pickup. Just a little bit. What do you guys reckon? Still good? I reckon you could almost class that as blocked. Almost. Like, you can still see some mesh, but... Yeah, it's, it's friggin' fine. I'll just push it to the side. There we go. Job done. Oh, I know you made an oil leak. Shit. Good one. I thought all the metal and the oil would stop that. <laughs> what do we got? We got a bit of... Some goop. Some... Oh, what? she's stuck in there, dude. Uh oh, Ooh, that's a lot. Oh damn. What else is in there? What's that from? Valleys. Oh, I got a bit of head gasket here. Yeah, some of the old head gaskets. So it turns out 30 psi and your head gaskets will die. It will also kill your pickup. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, can... hey, look, there's the rest of my oil. You can there's breathe now. Put it back together. You know what you should do. Holy crap. Jesus, there's leaking. lots in there. <laughs> Definitely blocked because it wasn't leaking before. <laughs> that's freaking over there. The drum. Where did it go now? No, stop. No, it was. You blocked one, it again. Once it gets a, a breather, <laughs> it'll go. Break down. There we go. She's blocked again now. We're sweet. Alright, I'll put it back together. If you cut that mesh out, 
and then the oil pump will just eat the shit. Yeah, and it will chew it up and, and, then, the and then go through the oil filter and then it's good. Yeah. And the pump will stop. No. Yeah, the you won't stop that. Metal okay. gears, mate. She'll chomp it up. <laughs> friggin' head gaskets have no friggin' chance with that. Not comedic ones, anyway. Uh, not graphite one. That's exactly a piece of head gasket. Yep. There's no metal in there, so that's a good sign. Mm. Just metallic no, it's, oil. It's in the oil. That looks like metal. Is that a piece of metal? I think it is. Oh, this is that plastic thing that you had last time. Is it? Well, that's good. Where'd we end up working that out with? Yeah, that's a big chunk of something. That metal. Oh, mm -hmm. It's still plastic. Alright. We've got uh, some... She's still good. We've got don't some even, working out to do. Don't even need to check the bearings. Yeah. Hey! We've sprung a leak. <laughs> <laughs> Eureka! <laughs> struck oil! <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> the cat. No, no, no. What have we found, Jake? She dead. She dead. I'll turn the band off so we can hear. We found bad things. Very bad things. Oh, how you feeling? Oh. Uh, we popped. Cap. Pop the cap off. And they're questionable. Light a bit more, see if we can get it to focus. That's not too bad. And I was just gonna run them again. And then we popped a main cap. And probably shouldn't run them again. No, definitely not. Big sad for Jake. Stupid Ecotex. <laughs> to be fair, that's 380,000 Ks old and has been making bulk power for the last six months. No oil pressure for the last two weeks. With 20 psi if not less oil pressure so i think we find out found out why we had no oil pressure and that probably wouldn't help with oil pressure as well as why we kept finding metallic oil in your sump so as always benny at precise engine rebuilders southport is hooking a brother up and he's getting some ACL race bearings for Jake as well on his way. They should be lunchtime tomorrow. So Big Bertha's sleeping here tonight. And we'll get onto that first thing tomorrow, but for now, Jake will be popping the rest of the caps in his ass apart. And cleaning everything up. You joining the club, Jake? <laughs> it's the engine rebuilders club this week. What two two L sixty sevens one week? Mm. Sounds like two goals one cup, but way less. No, it's just as just as shit. <laughs> 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 uh. <sighs> but it's better to do it now than lose the whole motor, lose the crank, lose the rods. New bearings. Bigger and better. And then just snap a turbo in half. <laughs> I'd say they'd both be getting turned up after this. Yes. And see what that eBay turbo can spin to. All of it. I'm gonna TIG the wastegate shut. Don't need one of them where I'm going. Well, speaking of caps, we can just put a cap in here. 
going to orbit. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to the moon. Got to stop blowing heavy. <laughs> Oh, they're gonna blow again. So definitely <laughs> invest in all precious gauges, because I guess if Jake didn't get that yesterday, we probably wouldn't be here today, and we wouldn't be no, catching it before the motor blows. Yeah, we'd be doing another motor swap. We're running out of them. Yeah, <laughs> well, we don't have any L six sevens laying around. That's for sure. But three hundred and eighty k. Can't complain. It's what it is. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> boo boo. Just these shitty heads tried to chop my friggin' finger off. <laughs> <laughs> so, once again, Sam's in here all pulled apart. Not once again. It's not that often. It's only mm. every every now and again. It's what we would have said when when that one. Once again. Yeah, once again. Once again for Jake. Once a fortnight. Yeah. So, it took us... Half an hour. Yeah, 30 minutes. 30 minutes to the dot. Both heads off. Turbo kit. Turbo kit, dump pipe, crossover pipe, all the necessities. Timed it, 30 minutes to the, to the second. No, not to the second, but... Good enough. It's more like 29.56. Yeah. We just rounded it up. Yeah. <laughs> so when we go to the track, at least we know, worst case scenario, we can um, swap Get a... Get Reese to swap a motor for us. <laughs> <laughs> we can swap out a set of head gaskets in about, I reckon, or an hour and a half by the time we clean everything up, reassemble everything. But yeah, anyway, that's enough of that. So, the one who did the dirty on me, Again. Again. Happened to be number three. So remember a few, fair few videos back how Jake's piston never come all the way up to the top? Well, now mine's doing that exact thing, but number three. He's a bit short. He's too short. Piston needs some, um, uh, the, sorry, the rod needs a bit of, like, concrete so it can harden up. He's, he's a bit flaccid, that rod. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll put that motor back into the Ecotech graveyard <laughs> underneath there and join the rest of them. We're missing one. Jesse pulled one out and freaking brought it back to life. Dude. Yeah. It's three. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the, the graveyard was not having not um, three motors sitting there, so it had to freaking take one back. It's done that successfully. Jake's car, on the other hand, um, we're, we're not sure where we were up to before, but all main caps are off. All main bearings are out. Um, number two was the worst culprit. He was not the happiest. By all means, we could have kept running it, but it would have only been a matter of time that something would have happened. So, Especially once my new... Boosty controller went in there and she got sent to the friggin sky. Yeah, so we were just better safe than sorry cheap ins insurance Replace them now that way we don't have that problem down the track while we've got the spare time to be doing this sort of thing um, co uh, ma uh, Sorry big ends will be coming off tomorrow when the ACL race series bearings arrive For Jake and hopefully my timing chain arrives Two days. It's unbelievable. We also discovered some weird things in my motor. One rod has been replaced. Yeah. With an aftermarket sort of style rod that's kind of beefy. So, we yet to look up the code. Where'd it go? Oh, there. Not sure if you, yeah, you can tell the difference. So if you see how number three is a bit rough, number four is a nice smooth square cut rod. She's definitely aftermarket, so. But there is a code on the side of it, so we want to pull that apart and check that out. <laughs> so they're both pulled apart right now. So tomorrow when we get in, oh, actually tonight, I'm going to continue on and reassemble these heads, get all the valve train back in them, get the valves back in them. They're the ones with the machine down valve guides to suit the big cam. And once we do that, 
I'll be doing that tonight, getting them on the head. Uh, yeah, I've got the gaskets, got everything. Sorry for mumbling. And then start reassembling the rest of this motor just so I can wait for the timing chain and sump gasket first thing in the morning. So I think we're going to end this one off here because the rest of this stuff you've seen. Uh, any questions about the builds and what's going on, leave a comment down below. Please subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Alright, just remember guys. Keep it straight.